So today I thought I would share with my students, um, since they're missing these mares bowling because they're um, all home, is three mares that are due to foal. So this first dapple gray mare here is due April 11th. The mare behind her is due, was due April 6th. And then we'll look at a mare that's due April 13th. So as we look at these mares and what helps us determine whether or not we are going to stay overnight is vulvar relaxation, udder development, and milk in the udder. So we'll look at these udders and you can see a big difference in these udders. Um, so many people I know start sleeping overnight with their mares just because they have a big udder, but if you, if you start to look at what fluid is in the udder, you can do a really good job of determining foaling just by good observation skills, not having to have foal alerts or some of these vaginal implants or, or um, these devices that, that fit on the halter. So let's go ahead and look at this first mare that was due April 11th. And this will be her second foal. And if we look at her udder, she has a little bit of an udder, but she her teeth look like little buttons. So this mare is a long way away from foaling. And the foaling dates are just an arbitrary date, basically. And I figure foaling dates 11 months from the last day bred, give or take 10 days either side. So I am not gonna stay the night with this mare right here. She has nothing going on in her udder. The other thing we're gonna look at is if you look at, she's pretty tense through her pelvic muscles. And if we look at her vulva, her vulva is very, very short right now. So she really hasn't even started to relax very much. So she's not giving us many indications that we should stay with her. This next mare is the overdue mare. And she has more of an udder development than the previous mare. However, she doesn't have a large, large teats. Go ahead and step her forward or step her back. There we go. And if we look at this udder, if we feel this udder, so she doesn't have very big teats. It's, it's, it's really full, but if we feel this udder, it feels very mass-like. It's not like a really tight water balloon. And if we try to squeeze a little drip of fluid out of here, we actually can't. So again, even though she's overdue, we're not gonna stay with her tonight because there's no milk in the udder. If we look at her pelvic relaxation, she's still pretty firm. Her tail is still pretty tight and clamped when she um, wants to clamp it, whereas a mare that's due to foal will not have that ability quite so easily. And again, her vulva is really short and not very relaxed. So even though this mare is overdue, we're not going to stay the night with her. All right, so let's come down this way. The tail wrap. Can you run in the med room and get the tail, the sock, and the yeah. tape for me? All right, so this is a mare, and she's due April 13th. And so this mare is going to fall. So yesterday when we checked her, she had cloudy fluid in her udder. It wasn't quite milk yet. So we decided that we were not going to stay with her. And our average as to how many nights we stay per mare is like one and a half nights. So we're pretty good at predicting foaling. So if we look at this mare's udder, there's really no need to see what kind of fluid is in there because she's already dripping a little bit of milk. And from this morning to right now, her udders even changed quite a bit more. So we are definitely gonna stay with this mare. If we look around, her pelvis area, you can see how much more relaxed she is through the pelvis than was the other mare. So she's pretty jiggly through here. 
And if I didn't have my hands on her vulva area, you could see how much more this vulva actually relaxes and how poochy it gets. And then this mare's tail is actually quite loose compared to the other two mares who still had that ability to clamp it. Her tail is just super loose. So we're going to actually stay with this mare. So how do we get her ready for foaling? So we want to make sure we have a clean stall and there's a couple manure piles that we'll still need to get out of here. I like to put some shavings down on the ground and then straw on the top. The shavings will absorb the amniotic fluid and a little bit of extra urine that these mares typically have. And um, the straw on top help keep, helps to keep some of that um, shavings from getting stuck on the, on the foal. And you want nice, clean, dust-free straw. So then we go ahead and wrap these mares' tails. And get on this other side of you. I like to take old uh, tube socks or soccer socks, put them in my hand, hold the tailbone, wrap this tail hairs around my fist here, pull the sock over my arm, and all the way up, pulling in all these little hairs. leaving just a little bit of hair at the top so my tape sticks. And I use this, easy sissy, you're fine. This claw tape, you're fine. It's kind of scaring her. And tape this to her. You want it snug but not so tight that you'll cut off the circulation in their tail. And I always leave a little flap that goes up just so we can pull that off easily. So now you can see how much her vulva has relaxed. She's a little nervous having me look, so she kind of tightened that up. But right now it's a super, super uh, relaxed. Okay. So the next thing we will do... is I like to make sure their teats are nice and clean. And I think I'll take a little bit of this and wipe her vulva off, although it's gonna get dirty between now and tonight. So we'll just kind of wipe her teats off, kind of get some of the, oh, uh, careful sis, you're fine. She's not real fond of this right now. So we'll just kind of get some of this greasy smegma junk off her, off her udder. We'll just kind of get some of that off of her. Just so this foal, when it starts to nurse, isn't picking up a lot of this junk. You're fine, I know. Good girl. And she's really not all that bad. So she's got nice, you're fine, you're fine. Good girl. Good girl. Nice big pieces of wax on her teeth, so you're fine. So we will pick a little bit of this manure out of her stall. Maybe we'll put a little fresh straw in here. Um, this mare came into the barn 30 days ago and received her spring vaccines as well as she was dewormed. And we started feeding these mares that are in the barn now an individual diet. They were group fed prior to this. And uh, put her in the foaling stall. And uh, I like to leave a halter on these mares in case the mare is having difficulty foaling. We can, we can restrain her. Um, in case she gets overly protective of her baby, we could grab a hold of her easily. In case she decides that she wants to reject this foal. So I always like to have a halter on them the first night we foal and just make sure there's nothing that they can get that halter um, stuck to. And so that's about it right now. 
we'll keep our fingers crossed that we have a beautiful baby tomorrow. And, and people might ask me who this mare is. Her name is Chardonnay. She is uh, an El Nabila B daughter and out of a Monor daughter, and she is in foal to PA Marco. So fingers crossed we'll have a baby and we'll show you that foal tomorrow.